Hello everybody and welcome back to Golden Sun and more Mercury Lighthouse with my good friend. Base 6286. And we're actually almost finished in this place um, and because I was having a little bit of difficulty I went ahead and I grinded up quite a bit. I think we were about level 10 or 11 last video and now I'm uh, 13 and 14 so you can see like Ivan's over 100 HP now thank god. <laughs> yeah he was at like level 6 or something. Oh, uh, well he wasn't he wasn't that low but I did a massive amount of grinding you can see I also have a lot of coins and stuff which will be nice when we get out of this dungeon so we should be good to go now we don't have that many complications hopefully. Money! Money! Oh these statues don't do anything it's just this one you want to move here. There we go. Hidden passage. There's a chest! With a nut. This game likes to give us nuts, doesn't it? Jeez. Nuts to that. <laughs> nuts to that. Uh, there's nothing behind that statue. Let's move this one. We're literally like near the end. I don't know why, but Bass and I have a good tendency to do that, where we'll like stop a video and then there won't be very much of a dungeon left. We're just cool like that. Yeah, we're just good like that. How did that water pressure push that wall? Oh, <laughs> that, that wouldn't happen. That's not realistic. <laughs> you know, there's a gin in this lighthouse. This is another Mercury one, obviously, because this is the Mercury lighthouse. This only makes sense. <laughs> and have Isaac unleash Ragnarok on it. That's a really good attack for him. Yeah, it actually is. Because it's single targeting, you can see it'll hit right now. It does, you know, it's a 79 damage, which is pretty good considering it doesn't do super effective damage, really. You know, like, Gareth yeah. only did 94, and that was super effective, so... Yeah, I remember liking Ragnarok. I used it all the time. It's a relatively good attack, yeah. And this gen will be really, really helpful for the boss of this area, too. So I recommend getting this guy. There we go. Not much of a fight. No. And if, it, and if it did run away, all you'd have to do was just leave and come back. So, we get Sleet. And we are going to give Sleet to Maya. Wow, look at all those stat boosts. Those are nice. Oh, it's because she uh, class changes. Oh, that's true, yeah. I think that's all there is. It's just that gin behind that waterfall there. Let's continue on. Up more flights of stairs. Isaac's like, I'm so tired. They're gonna sing us a seductive song. <laughs> Get away from me, foul temptress. There we go. Well, I guess Maya's there to help the other men along if that actually happens. She can slap them out of it. She'd be like, yoo hoo! Uh, over here, only girl in your party, hello! <laughs> <laughs> Pay attention to me, damn it! Uh, level 14, that'll come in handy. Get some good stat boosts. I don't think there's anything behind yeah. these waterfalls. Maybe this is the last one. There we go. That's the way out. The only way left. Move, boulder. Or statue. I have no time for you. <laughs> out of our way. I must continue climbing this stairs, or these stairs that go on for all of eternity. Ah, ooh, rainbow. He who honors the goddess of rainbows shall be guided to the heavens upon wings of Fluid grace, that's an awkward sentence structure. <laughs> yeah. Anywho, you wanna go ahead and use ply on this statue. Which we've done this multiple times in this dungeon now, so Yeah, it's kinda it, it should probably should probably just jump right out at you, that's what you have to do. Earthquake Craziness. Oh hey, what up? Oh, we can climb the waterfall! How is that possible? <laughs> it's magic. And then poor Isaac. <laughs> ah, <laughs> He's like, I don't I would, like this water slide! I would probably have the same reaction. <laughs> He's like, no! Poor Isaac looks like a I fool. Would, yeah, he's the only one that's floundering around. Oh no, that's not good. Because the wise one said that the lighthouses were not to be lit. Yikes. Oh. Where'd the waterfall go? Are we dead? No. We're alive. Good. Alright, so, at this point, spoilers, we're getting into a boss battle. So, 
What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna just rearrange some items here. I'm gonna use uh, Isaac, or not sorry, um, Garrett and Ivan as my healers. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give um, some stuff to Ivan and Garrett for this battle, just to help me out a little bit. Um, get some herbs too, why not? Everyone can use a good herb every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm not funny. I'm not funny, I try, but... <clears throat> Anyways, moving on. <laughs> um, and of course, you have a Psy Energy Stone there, so you can also go ahead and heal up. You don't have to worry about wasting your Psy Energy, because you can just charge up right there. We're all healed up. Uh, make sure all your gins are on standby, so you can go ahead and unleash them for the battle. Yada yada yada. Unless you want to start out with them not on standby, then you could just like start out summoning. So you can start out summoning, but the bad thing about that is that your stats start out really low. So if you were to get hit with a huge attack at the start of the battle, you'd be kind of screwed. So that's true. It's personal preference, I guess. It's too late! The lighthouse has already been lit! Crap. It... it can't be! The beacon cannot be lit without the Mercury Star. Yeah, about that. <laughs> the elemental stars were stolen from Soul Sanctum on Mount Aleph. Mount Aleph. Soul Sanctum. Are you healers from Soul Sanctum? No. <laughs> not exactly. Well, we're not. We came up from Mount Aleph, but we're not healers. We came from a village called Vale to recover the three elemental stars. Did you say Vale? Weren't you listening, woman? <laughs> Our village was there to protect Soul Sanctum, but the stars were stolen. That sounds just like my clan. I have failed in the one duty placed upon me. This is terrible. Isaac! Garrett! Oh, hey, oh, Jenna. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and Felix and Creighton, too. Ugh, and Minardi. <laughs> so it's you, Isaac. <laughs> Those kids are still alive. Living and breathing. You came <laughs> all this way to save Jenna and Creighton. That's not all. We're after the elemental stars. <laughs> In other words, they've come to stop us. Dang straight. Then we have no choice. Let's take care of them now before they can do any harm. Uh, stand around and think about it for a few minutes. Hmm. <laughs> Minardi, wait! <laughs> Where did he come from? <laughs> oh, Sateros, they want to... He's like, peekaboo! Yeah, well, I heard everything. They were lucky to survive the eruption of Mount Aleph. Angry face. Bad face. <laughs> you have endured so much, and now you want to throw your lives away? Fine, if that is your wish, prepare to have it granted. Satyros, are you going to fight them alone? Minardi, I can't expect you to leave our hostages alone and help me, can I? Yeah, good point. Um... That's true. Besides, I want to see how much their powers have developed. Are you sure about this, Satyros? Leave me be. Head for the next lighthouse, now! Someone's pushy. Yeah. Come here, child. What do you mean to defy me? I should teach you a lesson, child, but... Felix, I'd get your sister to obey me if you hope to keep her from harm. Jenna, please, do as she says for now. Felix... It's all right, Jenna. So we'll just stand around some more, why don't we? <laughs> Let's think about it. Isaac and Garrett shouldn't have come after us. 
I'm sorry, Isaac. Garrett. I'm counting on you. Isaac, Garrett, don't die! Didn't Jenna say that exact same thing? Maybe. Jenna, Kraden! If you want to save them, you'll have to beat me first. No, get back! What's the matter? Saros is extremely powerful. I could sense it when I faced him. You have to be very careful when fighting him. We have to match his strength. Well, four against one. Yeah. Match me? <laughs> you think you can match the great Sadaros? We're gonna try. You overestimate your chances. Fine then, I'll just teach you all a lesson. Uh. What happened? Sadaros is moving strangely. What's this? The light of Mercury. It's weakening my Psi energy. I must finish this quickly. Come on, fools. Oh, finally, my god. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so this is our first, I guess, really, really difficult boss. I think he has about 2,000 HP, if I remember off the top of my head. And the important thing to remember about Sadaros is that he's actually uh, a fire user. So we were using Garrett for fire throughout the entire dungeon. However, he's pretty useless here, which is why I switched uh, all my items over to Garrett so he could help heal. Uh, because I'll just use one as an example. I'll use Heat Wave. Um, it's not going to do much damage. Uh, Isaac, or sorry, Ivan doesn't do much damage either. So um, Mai is definitely going to be your biggest help in this battle. For sure, so you want to keep her nice and healed. Um, and then I just use Isaac to heal and to also attack because Earth attacks do just fine, so. And there you go. You see, he has multi target attacks, which are pretty nasty. He's kind of a jerk. Poor Ivan. I know. He's, he's so weak and stuff. Poor At least he's fast. Yeah, you know, at least he's got that on the side. You can also use his gin and stuff. Um, and luckily the one we just got, or no, she came with Fizz, the one we got Sleet, and you can drop yeah. Sadaros' attack, which will also help you out with punch. It's kind of nice that you get Mia in this, this dungeon, and she's not useful in the dungeon, but at least she's useful against the boss. Yeah, and she comes with the Jin as well, which is, which is really nice, so... But over, you know, like overall, he's not, he's really not that difficult. It's just you just have to be really re quite careful with your HP and things like that. But other than that, he's I don't know. I wouldn't say he's easy, but as long as you're careful. If you have some kind of battle plan of designating uh, attackers and healers, then you're fine. And just keeping in mind, of course, that he is he's weakened right now. Obviously, this is why he was moving strangely. Yeah, I'm not sure if Garrett's actually affected by that too or not, considering he's also a fire adept. I didn't actually really think about that. Um, yeah, you know, I don't actually know. That's a good question, but uh, mostly just Sadros, so. That's the only important thing. Yeah, exactly. The only important thing no. to remember. You don't want to fight fire with fighter, fire in this battle. <laughs> fight fire with fighter. Ah, oh, crap. Not exactly. And that's and that's a that's a summon. That's when you have two water gin. So you get so you get some really cool summons, which is really awesome. And some nice damage. Oh yeah, for sure. Indeed. Also, after you summon with a uh, one of a certain element, that element for that character gets powered up. So yeah, as now, you saw there. Maya's water stuff will do more damage than before, which is cool. Which is really quite nice. Um. Hmm. I don't want to waste a nut. I'm going to use a herb on her just in case because I don't remember who goes first. So. It should be Ivan if he's using it. He pretty much always goes first. Because um, I used Isaac to cure, so I just wanted to make sure she got cured all the way. But I don't, I don't want to like waste a nut on her just in case. Yeah, that would have been kind of meh. Yeah. So slow and steady wins the race in this case, which just rhymed unintentionally. <laughs> You're a poet and you don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, but overall, this battle really isn't incredibly difficult. If you can keep everyone alive, you're fine. Yeah. And then you also got those, um... Crap. Oh. Of course Ivan dies as soon as we say that. Yeah. <laughs> um, we got those life waters as well you can use. Which I don't really want to use, but at the same time I'm tempted to use because Ivan's going to miss out on a bunch of experience, but... Yeah, we should be getting close to finishing this guy off, though. Yeah, he shouldn't be uh, too difficult. I did this in practice and I didn't die, but then again, things happen, so... What are you going to do? It just sucks because Ivan overall is very, very underleveled. Not really underleveled, but just kind of under the rest of your characters, obviously, just because he is so weak in terms of defense and HP as well, so... Wah, wah. It's, it's kind of a shame, really. Let's go ahead and summon that. And... Frost. I can't remember, but I think summons do more damage to things with higher HP. Well, I, I wouldn't doubt it. There we go. See, so it wasn't too bad. And you see, so you didn't really get that much experience here. 331 isn't too bad at this point. And I would recommend being like at least 13 for this battle. Now that we've wiped him out, we're gonna get a bunch of dialogue, so I think we should probably stop it here as well. Oh, yeah. For 25 Jeez. minutes, because, you know, like, ah. they can't just stop the battle and then have victory. They gotta talk some more, so. We will find out what is gonna happen to Sateros and our party after he's been defeated, so see you all next time. Later.